You know, they were destroying our suburbs. You know that, right? I don't know if somebody said, you're just doing okay in the suburbs. I said, how can I do okay? I saved the suburbs. What I've done is save the suburbs. And you know, this, I don't have to go into it, but I saved the suburbs. I think the suburbs, you know, that last time, four years ago, oh, he's not going to do well with women. I did great with women. They said, what well, a big thing. Remember that? Election year. He won't do well. This will be a very short. Not doing well with women. I did great. They said at the end of the night, after they announced I won, they said, what happened? Well, he did very well with women. I don't know how it happened there. They said he did very well with African-American community. He did very well with Hispanic. They said he did very well with everything. We kicked their ass. That was a... No, but... Was that one of the greatest evenings ever, remember? And remember all the fake news? Look at all the, oh, lie, that's a lie. Whoa. That's a lot of people back there. Look at that, the red lights are on. Don't worry, I won't say anything bad about you, CNN. Because as soon as I see, as soon as I'm getting ready to say something about fake news, etc., etc., the lights start going off. So I'm not going to say, whoop, one just went off at it. You can tell by the lights. They got that little beautiful red light. You see it? But I won't say anything bad about it. But they are fakers. And you remember when they remember when they were saying that the polls are terrible? Actually, these polls are very good compared. That was so bad. It was like, why did anybody vote? They're called suppression polls. They make them so bad that you lose all your appetite. You lose all your spirit. They take your guts out and you don't go and vote. And your wife looks at you and said, darling, I love that guy, but he's not going to win. He doesn't have a chance because the polls, he's down 10, he's down 20, he's down 50 points, darling. He can't possibly win. Let's go have dinner and then we'll come home and watch his concession speech. But my people didn't buy that because my people went out to vote. And instead, we watched her concession speech. That was uh, Crooked Hillary. That was a real piece of work. Remember when she was saying, will you accept the decision of the voters? Will you accept that decision? And I didn't, you know, I wasn't perfect. I said, I'll see how it works out. I mean, I should have said, yes, I will. But you know, I couldn't do that because I know how crooked she is, right? Would you, just, would you accept the decision? And, you know, and then the... The anchor said to me, like, well, will you accept? You know, they're coming after me. I said, you're supposed to be going after her a little bit, too. Did you ever see debates where you had all of the anchors plus the candidates against me? And here we sit. Is that Air Force One? Yes, that's Air Force One. How did that happen?